State lawmakers returned to Raleigh today, and one of the first bills introduced in the new session has to do with gay marriage. Senate leader Phil Berger filed a controversial bill that would allow government workers who handle marriage licenses and civil weddings to refuse same-sex couples based on religious beliefs. News 13's Frank Crocker joins us now live from the Buncombe County Register of Deeds office. And Frank, who would be affected? Well, registers of deeds and their employees, also magistrates. You come here to get the marriage license and you go to the magistrate to get the civil ceremony taken care of. Now, Senate Bill 2 flies in the face of this particular register of deeds at what it's famous for. The state of North Carolina will be glad to issue you a marriage license. <laughs> It was October of last year that history was made in North Carolina. Marriage licenses could not be issued to same-sex couples. County registers of deeds had a new law to follow. They still do, but the Burger Bill seeks to remove penalties for refusal based on an employee's conflict over religious beliefs. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. I don't believe that myself or my staff should be able to pick and choose who we issue marriage licenses to. Drew Reisinger is one who led the charge in the Tar Heel State, pushing for marriage equality, applauding the federal court ruling that made it possible to do what he'd always wanted. He's not pleased by what happened on the Senate floor. It would be a step backwards for the state of North Carolina and for my office to start um, giving people exemptions to not issue licenses to same-sex couples. I stepped down because of the uh, new change in the law regarding same-sex marriages. A very different reaction over in Swain County, where Magistrate Gilbert Breedlove resigned last October rather than perform civil ceremonies for same-sex couples. He's a Baptist minister and pleased by what happened today in Raleigh. I would support that bill 100 percent. I believe that every person, whether they're a public official or, or private citizen, have the right to practice their religious freedom. Anyone who walks into to our office is always going to be treated fairly and equally. Buncombe County State Senator Democrat Terry Van Dyne reacts to today's bill. She said that the bill divides us. It is not productive that the legislature has more pressing issues. Now, Senate Bill 2 must go through the Senate first, then pass the House, and it could be decided within the month. Reporting live in Asheville, Frank Crocker, News 13.